Acing in Birmingham. Good evening from the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham. Tonight, the talking stops, the fighting begins. The showdown that Britain has been waiting for. The middleweight confrontation for the World Middleweight Championship between Nigel Benn and Chris Eubank, live. Chris Eubanks looks good. He says, I've got no class. I've always had class in the ring. In and out ring. I, I really do detest the guy. It's no, it's no height, no height whatsoever. This man has been watching me for at least uh, a year and a half. He's watched my sights close. I've watched him on tapes watching me, right? You're petrified, and I know you are. You're mine, it's done. It's a foregone conclusion. Why don't you hear me And in addition to the big one, the chief support, Christie against Watson. That's first up on Screen Sport on this Pro Box Special. Once again, from the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham, for what promises to be a very, very special night of boxing. I'm David Brenner. Alongside me, I'm delighted to have two great British champions. Barry McGuigan, former featherweight champion of the world, joins us tonight. And we've got Jim McDonnell, the former undefeated European featherweight champion, on my right. And we, believe me, are looking forward to what should be some cracking fights. Live, uninterrupted, no delay. The big one... Ben against Eubank coming up a little later. Right now, Errol Christie against Michael Watson, first up. The cheers that you can hear for Terry Marsh. And ladies and gentlemen, who has just vaulted into the ring to huge that. cheers and vaulted out again to even bigger cheers. Christie and Watson, as I say, the first one up. And Michael Watson scheduled to be the first man in the ring. Oh, I tell you, it's all go here tonight. The stars are out. And indeed, it is Michael Watson first out. A man who has been not the busiest of fighters of late. Beat, of course, Nigel Penn, the only man to beat him. That epic at Finsbury Park last year. Had one fight since against Mike McCallum for the world title, which we saw on Screen Sport Live, ended in Michael getting knocked out in 11 rounds. So, you can't exactly say he's on the comeback trail tonight, because the man really has fought at the highest level and proved he's got what it's take, what it takes. If he's the only man to beat Nigel Bent, credentials enough. Up against him, Errol Christie the nearly man of British boxing, the finest amateur that British boxing has ever produced. The only man to win junior, schools, boys clubs and senior titles. Michael Watson. As we all know, huge Arsenal fan. We've been delighted by what happened yesterday. And a man, I'm sure, who will be keeping a very close eye on the next fight we've got. Here we go. The Arsenal gun on his dressing gun. And 
the music booms out for Errol Christie. I guess, Barry, that for, er for Errol Christie tonight, if he loses, it's difficult to see where he could go after this. Yeah, this is an all-or-nothing fight for, for Errol Christie. Yeah, we, we've seen him beaten in the past at the top level, and really, this is a, a very difficult fight for him indeed. Um, but to be honest, uh, if he can't beat Watson, I don't think he's, you know, he's going anywhere. He's got, he's got to decide on whether or not he should take up another profession. I really think that uh, this is his last chance tonight. And, uh, you know, let's not take anything away from him. He's really been a tremendous fighter in the past. I just think his punch resistance has gone, and I think Watson will win this fight. Well, there we go, Errol Christie. Been around, hasn't he? But of those six defeats, some of them are against boys that he really shouldn't have had any trouble with at all. Thunderous soundtrack to Errol Christie coming out. In he gets. You can have a word with Jimmy Mack about Mike Watson. We saw him, you and I, and get knocked out by Mike McCallum. Just two fights in the last 18 the months or so, not exactly putting himself Over about a bit. Introducing in the red corner with the white and the red striped shorts from Islington in London, Michael Watson! And ladies and gentlemen, his opponents in the blue corner with the white shorts from Coventry, Errol Christie! Errol Christie. The boos and the cheers. And as he weighed in noon today, Michael Watson scales 11 stone, 8 pounds. Errol Christie, 11 stone, 9 pounds. Your referee Just a pound, and then both the boys Coyle, over the championship Coyle, weight limit, but only by a couple of pounds. John Coyle, the man in charge, was scheduled for 10 rounds. Round one then. Gal, you're getting a few problems here in Jim McDonald. Never mind, we'll fix that. Barry and I will talk you through round one. This is going to be an exciting fight. Errol Christie is very talented. All his moves are very good. His punches are tremendous. And I believe he's been looking really good in the gym against uh, Chris Eubanks in sparring. But the problem oh, is... Oh, right hand! This is what I said. Opening is, seconds. His, uh, his ability to take a punch has gone, and I don't believe he's going to get through the first round. Just as I thought. Well, he got up. Up at eight. John Coyle perhaps should have made him box on. Crisp right hand. Watson means business. Christie trying to get the jab working. He's got some lovely moves. He rolls in and out of punch as well, but he doesn't take a good shot anymore. Uh, his problem has always been the, the ability to take a shot, and, and now his resistance has gone completely. And, uh, you know, Watson is a real, in with a real chance of ending this in the first round. And Christie's cut as well. Still two minutes to go, so he certainly has a chance of ending it yet. Um, I'm sure Christie's... His head hasn't cleared at this stage. He's uh, he's taken a tremendous right hand over the top, and his eyes are still looking very glazed. Well, for a man who hasn't fought since April, that defeat against Mark McCallum, Watson really has come out looking very sharp. There also looks to be a graze over uh, over Errol Christie's left eye. And uh, he still hasn't shaken the effects of that punch. There's no question about that. Yeah, it's just a little, yeah, good. it's um, about a quarter of an inch over the left eye, sort of more on the forehead than anything else on the eyebrow. On the forehead, that cut, just a little nick. Now, Watson's have, have to, he's, he's coming forward now because he, he feels he's going to let his chance slip. And he's not the greatest at coming forward, as we saw against uh, Mike McCallum in the, in the world title fight, where he had to come forward. But uh, he's been very effective tonight with that right hand, Inc incredible shot.
Watson's loading up. He should be picking the shots a bit more. He's trying to load. He's excited about this, obviously. And, uh, it's a good start to this middle with Fabulous start. Christy came back with a good left hook there. Good opening round for Michael Watson. I'm glad we've re-established contact with Jimmy Mack now. Jim, how did you see that round? Well, it was a good round from Michael Watson, obviously. He got through very early. And I'm just I'm surprised Christy got through the round, actually. He was a solid right hand. And um, full credit to his conditioning that he has got through it. Because this right hand straight over the top. It's a blasting shot. Well, I gather you're still having problems with Jim McDonald's mic. We'll try and solve it again. Get a new piece of chewing gum, stick it in the business. So. Yeah, Watson's come out with a vengeance again. He wants to end this fight quickly. He's been told in his corner that Christy is badly hurt and to get it over and done with. Because he has to look exciting tonight. He's going to be fighting the winner of, of tonight's big fight uh, if he wins this fight. And uh, he wants to look good in doing it. Really knock out blows. Every one of these shots are tremendous power. Tremendously powerful shots. And there's a game of chess out there at the moment. They're both trying to slip shots and get inside and unload. Now Watson looking still intensely purposeful and Barry was absolutely right about Christie's durability but he did do well to get through that first round. Yeah, he did indeed and, and he's coming he, back well. If he gets into any sort of rhythm he's got a shot Christie. He certainly has got might, a good he shot. Might, he might provide Watson with one or two problems. Yeah, he certainly has his shaking again now he was hit with a good solid left and his legs dipped a bit so he looked he was a, like, like he was hurt just about 10 seconds back. Now, that's another solid right and left uppercut. It's a good shot. Christie's doing well to get through these, this onslaught. It's, it's a very good performance so far from Michael Watson. When you think that he's been out of the ring for six months, uh, his timing has been perfect. Well, precisely, just two fights in the last 18 months. The win against Nigel Bent, the defeat against Mike McCallum. And uh, he really needs this win. It's a good right hand again. He keeps hitting Christie with that right hand. He's always been susceptible, susceptible to that overarm right. And again, we see him blinking and looking at his corner. He's distressed. There's no question about that. Yes, he's in big trouble. Oh, yeah. the, right, the right start of the damage. Oh, the legs have gone. The legs suddenly from muscle turn to two sticks of licorice. Look at his le look at his eyes, Dave. His eyes are all glazed, glazed yeah. very badly glazed and doubled in size. Come back with a good right hand himself there. Courage alone keeping Christy going now. The Coventry boy really in desperate trouble. A lot of the coordination seems to have gone too. But still trying to get that jab working inside the last 30 now. That's what happens when you get hit with a solid punch. The old, uh, the old black box, as they say, the control box goes, goes haywire and all your, your legs start going, your, your movement is all impaired and your vision is impaired, so it's, uh, you'll do well to get through. Well, a lot of people wondered how much that Mike McCallum defeat would have taken out of Michael Watson. The answer at the moment would seem to be not a lot. And Watson cut now underneath the left eye, right at the end of that round. Well, I gather we can hear Jim now. Jim, say something. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> Good to be there. I don't know what the main event's going to be like, but this has been a cracker for me so far. Absolutely, on both sides, Watson's come out full of vengeance and trying to get it over very early. And Christie's done well to still be there after two rounds, to be quite honest with you. I don't know how he's feeling in himself, but there must be a lot of cobwebs in his leg rights now. This is a real 
you know, two class fighters, and you know, we've, a lot of people have seen the best of Earl Christie, and Watson wants to come back of a bang, and he's very nearly done that tonight. Barry, we've seen Errol Christie wobble alarmingly a couple of times already in this fight, but Michael Watson has not yet been able to land the final punch. Yeah, that's right. But, uh, Leon, let's give uh, Christie a bit of credit. He's got a his great ability to slip punches, and he's, he's a very talented mover himself. So uh, um, Watson has been nicked underneath the right eye, and uh, he hasn't quite hit him with that big bomb yet. But it's coming, believe me. And let's not forget, you know, Watson's a good puncher from the way, and very, very strong as well. So. Because he's really put on the, on the line tonight, so he's got to pull out his best form. Round three, the schedule for ten. Surprise if it goes that long. Christie down in the first. <laughs> Good boy, and Rocky in the third. Another right and hand. clinging on desperately. Another right hand. Superb right hand from Watson. That right hand has been devastating. Another one again, and... Uh, I really don't feel this fight's going to go much further. John Coyle's taking a, a close look at Christie. He's still badly shaken. Look at his eyes. He's hit him with the elbow. Oh, right hand there. again, and he's gone. This is the end of the fight, Dave. The referee's not going to let it continue. No. That's it. It's all over. It's got to be all over. No. He says he beat the count, but John Coyle says enough is enough. And that... I think might well be the last time we ever see Errol Christie in a professional boxing ring. In a funny sort of way, Jim, I hope that he does now, if you like, take the hint and call it a day. Yeah, you know, it's very, very sad to see such a talent like Errol Christie finish like that, obviously, but I'm sure that would be the right decision. Michael Watson then, back with a vengeance, Barry. Absolutely sparkling performance. He uh, he done everything that was asked of him. He's come back after six months out of the ring. And what about that for a performance? Absolutely breathtaking. Tremendous right hand over the top to finish the fight. And uh, he's in there with the winner of tonight's big fight. Errol Christie. Well, he had the chance tonight to really re-establish himself at the very top of the tree. But Michael Watson... Despite the fact that this was his first outing since the McCallum knockout loss in April, proves that he is still very much a force to be reckoned with in the middleweight division. So, a cracking start to this championship, this world championship evening of boxing at the NEC. What we're going to do is take a short pause. Don't go too far away, because we'll be right back.